Hello, my name's Trevor Dines and I'm a botanist at Plant Life, the wild plant conservation charity. Now I've been absolutely passionate about wild plants ever since I found my first orchid growing wild on the farm where I grew up. I've been working for Plant Life for nearly 20 years and it's a real privilege to be able to work with farmers and landowners, giving them advice on how to protect uh, rare and common plants and just get some colour back into the countryside. Occasionally I bring my work home with me and three years ago we bought this field in the Conway Valley to begin the process of restoring it as a wildflower meadow. It's a great opportunity for me to show people why it's worth protecting wildflowers and what we can do to give them a home. Now it might not look much now in the depths of winter but in spring it's a riot of colour with sheets of buttercups, colourful celandines, and then as the summer arrives there's plants like yellow rattle and our first few oxide daisies. Knapweed has started appearing in numbers and there's even a few surprises like this rest harrow which isn't normally a meadow plant. Of course with all these wildflowers there's loads of bees and butterflies appearing too. But it didn't always look like this. When we bought the meadow in 2014, it was all long grass, docks, nettles, and very few wildflowers. Sadly, this is what the vast majority of our countryside looks like, and what we at Plant Life want to change. So how did we go from this to this? Well, it's taken many people, machines, and an awful lot of hard work to strip away the grass, get down into the soil and then spread some green hay from an ancient wildflower meadow nearby. This hay is rich in wildflower seeds and many of these are now growing in our meadow. It's also involved us buying some four-legged friends that believe me or not play a vital role in restoring the wildflower meadow. They do much more than just chomping away at the grass and we'll be meeting them properly soon. So I'd be really delighted if you could join me each month when we explore the secret life of my meadow as it transforms itself from this in the depths of winter, it's January and it's freezing, uh, through to spring when the wildflowers start growing, on into summer when it's that exuberance of wildflowers and other wildlife, and then also the hay cut and the grazing that we do in the autumn and the winter to keep this place absolutely full of wildflowers.